Okay, so these ones they want $16.99 for. You can literally open the shoe. Nice pair of Sorrells, 50 bucks. Literally the same Sorrells, 13 bucks. <laughs> okay. Hello everybody and welcome back to our channel. My name is Mel. This is my driving husband, Adeen. Very creative this morning. It is Monday, which means we have some weekend sales. We sold 50 items over the weekend. Stay tuned to find out what those were. This morning, we are starting our week off a little different. We are headed to the thrift. So we're gonna bring you along. Let's see if we can find some goodies. I did wanna talk a little bit about our posh sales this weekend. Of the 50 items that we sold, 14 of those came from Posh this weekend, and 11 of those 14 were in one day. That is a record for us. We are not huge Poshmark sellers, so it was just popping off yesterday. A couple tips on how we made that many sales in one day. The first is that we use Poshmark Sharer. That's a service we pay for monthly. We have a 30-day package, and they share our closet three times a day. It's great we get so many more likes on our items a lot more offers check it out in the area where it says how'd you hear about them tell them hustle and hook sent you the other thing that we did yesterday was we used the new bulk sharing tool it's been out for a little while this is only the second time that we've utilized it it's very simple though it just brings up everything that has likes on it and you go down and you just select everything and then it'll go through and send offers for all of those you select how much percentage and your shipping discount just in one spot so it's very convenient i ended up sending 658 offers just in the morning yesterday using that tool then throughout the day as more likes came in i would send the offers off immediately and as you can see from the numbers, it worked. We got a lot more Posh sales than we normally do. Now again, we're not huge Poshmark sellers, but this is probably a tool that we're gonna use moving forward a lot more frequently, and hopefully that will increase even more what we're selling on that platform. With that said, we have arrived at Goodwill, so let's go in and find something to sell. So the first one here is on Michigan and Diamond, if you're familiar with Grand Rapids. We're gonna go up there or in there see if we can find some money this one we usually find a lot of shoes in um occasionally we'll find a bunch of hard goods but we'll see you never know i'm also going to hit up some more of the clothing sections than we normally hit up because this is where i found a lot of the good brands last week as well how do you make a tissue dance put a little boogie in it first pair here first time voiceover uh hopefully it sounds good on my new microwave microwave microsoft microphone these are pretty good condition i miss what they were uh all stars these are vans the vans are really nice they just need a little cleanup both of those pair are probably about 25 30 dollars shoes plus shipping super clean saucony again another 20 25 bucks plus shipping on average those are six bucks a pair going back to the rack i see these brooks However, they've been running a lot, so I'm going to end up showing you all of the angles and then leaving them behind because there's just not enough life left in them. And when you're selling shoes or reselling used shoes, you definitely want to be very careful, very picky, very selective. A pair of Aldos here, they were okay, but right at the heel there you see a bunch of damage. So I ended up leaving these behind as well. They only wanted six bucks for them. Um, not the not the worst. Also, the bottoms are pretty rough. Another pair here. They looked super clean, but you can see the obvious um, issue with them. I'm pretty sure these are the Saucony Jazz. They sell pretty well. Another you know twenty five dollars plus ship or so. However, that condition it's a no go. Trash, trash. These ones right here, we have a 100% win rate with these PF flyers. They need laces. We have laces. They're super clean. Otherwise, nice leather finish to them. These will sell for about 30, 35 plus shipping on top. Definitely a pickup. Uh, next ones were trash, I believe. I don't, this is hours ago. 
Uh, Pony, I'm pretty sure Pony is a skateboarding brand. I did look up comps for Pony shoes for men's. They were pretty good. They met all of our criteria. However, that style didn't sell very often or very well, so I left them. Another pair of Aldos had some heel damage, so I left those behind. Aldo is good for, you know, a quick 30 bucks plus ship. Over to toys, I'm looking for board games. I ran into this little Charmeleon uh, Pokemon, but you can see obvious damage on him. It was a Builder Bear. I'll show you the tag here in a second. You know, these are probably worth like 20 bucks plus ship or so, but for $5 damage, it's obviously a no. Pika Pika Pikachu over here. Again, Builder Bear, but uh, Pikachu was leaking in the back. So uh, we left him behind as well. Nothing crazy. What's nice about that trip is that we usually just roll over our points until we have a good amount. It was 88 for everything, but we had $48 in points. So we just got two bags of inventory for 40 bucks. Not bad. Just pulled up to the second Goodwill. Look at the endless supply. Just constant, constant pails or pallets of inventory all the time. Just constant. Do, 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 do. Thrifting, thrifting. It's also Mona's birthday today, so wish her a happy birthday. I'm 22. 20. I thought you were 23. Oh, yeah. Uh, I forgot that year. <laughs> happy birthday. Thank you. Again. Let's find some gold. Ah. We are at Goodwill number two. Pretty slim pickings. Either they didn't restock or uh, we're not good at what we do. Probably the ladder, the first, the ladder, not sure, you decide. A pair of Nikes, I ended up putting these back. There was some damage on them that I didn't see initially. A pair of Sperry's here, boating shoes. They do okay, they're like a $20, $30 shoe plus ship, but they're a little too bald. However, these Adidas were one of the few things that we picked up at this stop. Nice road cycling shoes. Should fetch about $30 to $40 plus shipping. Into the cart they go. Not a lot of really great stuff in there. I don't know if it was picked over. They just haven't restocked from the weekend, but we're going to try a uh, third and final thrift store and then get home and get packing. The next one that we're pulling up on is very secret. We don't tell anyone that we ever thrift here. The Melt Trotter on 28th Street here, on 29th Street here in Grand Rapids, Michigan. It's very secret. No one knows about this thrift store but us. We're the only ones that thrift here because there's just not enough to go around for everyone else. Except for all these people who already know, apparently. Secrets. This one's a hit or miss. They have really good shoes here, but they also mark all their shoes up quite a bit. So we'll see. Super secret thrift store here, Mel Trotter. No one knows about it. Uh, those Mizunos way too much, 20 bucks. Not going to pick them up. Marrows were a little bit too basic. Ended up passing on them for 10 bucks. These ASICs were like new condition. Uh, looks like seven bucks, nine bucks, something like that. I picked these up for sure. They don't need any cleaning. It'll be, it's a you know thirty dollar plus shipping shoe. You can see these Sorels, fantastic. Sorel is a great brand to look out for. However, they wanted forty dollars for them, so we left those behind. The next few minutes, I'm just gonna complain about pricing. Just kidding. Right below them, a beautiful pair of dance goes here, leather clogs. Pretty sure uh, looks like they were what 10 bucks 11 bucks definitely a pickup we're just gonna go ahead and put those in the cart i hope you're finding some entertainment in this commentary as i feel like a sports announcer going down here another pair of dance goes unbelievable two pair of dance goes can it be true look at those treads beautiful little scuffed up look at these ones these ones another pair of dance goes they were actually the most expensive of the three and the most damaged go figure get those in on to the next hey look it's melinda Melinda is saying, look at these beautiful shoes. They're only $126. Exactly. Yep. And these were here. Nice. Just a nice pair of Merrill, but they want uh, 35 bucks. Okay, so these ones they want $16.99 for. You can literally open the shoe. Nice pair of Sorrells. 50 bucks. Literally the same Sorrells. 13 bucks <laughs> okay there are a lot of strong opinions out there about thrift stores and the way that they price their goods and the price is going up For, are there? there are 
there's some really <laughs> strong opinions about it. Our opinion is that that's their business model. That's what it is. You just have to be pickier. You have to accept a lower margin on your stuff or you have to find somewhere else or some other way to find your goods. I mean, I'm not mad about it. When we do find stuff at this store, it's good quality. Yeah. It's been cleaned. It's usually a lot less work. And usually excellent condition. Like right. you saw, I uh, compared those three boots, the ones that you can see right through, and then literally the same exact Sorel. One was like 50, the other one was 13. So we passed in the 50 and we don't bitch and complain about it because their job is to do their job, like Mondo said. Our job is to find their mistakes. So right. we found their mistakes and we're gonna profit from that. Yeah, so one example of that is there was a whole row of men's uh, Adriana, Adriano Goldschmied jeans that sell very well, but they mm -hmm. were all priced $30, $30, $40. And then one was $8. I was like, there you go. Yeah. Jackpot. And then I was walking in, away from that section and hanging on just the front. I don't know why I have such good luck with this. The universe is just like, happy birthday to me. But I found a pair of mother jeans, which sell very well. It's a mm -hmm. great brand. They were $15, but worth it because I, they're going to sell high and they're probably going to sell fast. Yeah, don't complain. Find other ways to win. It's not the thrift store's job to make it make sure that you get your margins as a reseller. My thought on their higher pricing, if I'm their business manager, if I'm their general manager, I'm looking at my staff and I'm educating them and saying, hey, look, mm -hmm. our target audience is willing to spend between $10 and $15 per pair of shoes. Now, if we have have a special shoe here, maybe we mark it up towards the higher end of that, but it's very very unlikely that someone a size eight and a half men's is going to come into that store looking for exactly that brand, that style dress shoes, and that finish, and that color, and is going to spend $125 when they can go on eBay and spend way less and get it delivered to their front door. So the probability of those shoes selling here is unlikely, but I don't care right. because it's not my business. And it's working for them. I heard the women saying that they, may, that they sold $6,000 on Saturday. That's not too shabby. I mean, yeah. for a thrift store, that's great. So yeah. it, it works for them. That's fine. We find stuff occasionally and that's great for us. We're not upset about it if we don't. No, of course, we're happy. That's a really good haul. Usually on Mondays, we're not thrifting, but we're happy that we did. The yeah. trunk is full of solid inventory. Mm -hmm jackpot on the dance goes i found three pairs yeah. of dance goes and right and then there was one that was like forty dollars yeah, so but... it's just it's it can be kind of random yeah. it's almost it's almost fun to go in and be like what's it gonna be today yeah. one more just one more gotta work off this lunch somehow power thrift stop number four we did pretty well at that melt trotter first pair i see are these orthopedic new balances I couldn't find enough information on them to pick them up. They might be a pretty good sell, but also it could be very difficult to sell them as obviously they would go to someone very specific. We pass on most um, spiky type cleaty shoes because people just don't spend a lot of money and use cleats. Nice pair of Merrells here. Uh, good treads on them. Kind of an interesting soft fabric. Checking the tags are good size. However, if your finger fits through the shoe, it's a pretty good indicator not to pick them up as, uh, you know, it's damaged. Nobody wants damaged shoes. Found a pair of Torrids. Uh, pat myself on the back for that one. All me, 100% credit. Pair of Silver Tuesday boot cut. Good seller. Melinda's card over here looking pretty good. She found a nice low rise BKE jeans. All those jeans are worth about 30 plus ship. I don't know what these are. These are kind of strange shapes. Not a really, a, that's lacy. Back to boots. I ended up putting these luck bucks, buck bucks, muck bucks back. The sales comps weren't there. Uh, Kush, good brand to look out for. However, they had some internal damage and then we ended up looking through and only picking up those. We're home now. And now we're going to go through every single one of our 50 sales in detail, describing the texture where we bought it, the weather on the day that we bought it, how we're gonna pack it. So grab your popcorn, tuck your kids in. This is gonna be a long one. We're also going to explain in detail the actual fabric makeup of every single pair of clothing. So if it's polyester, neon blend, cotton blend, spandex blend, 100% cotton, 100% nylon, 
if it's some sort of unknown chemical. We're going to go through, Google every single one of those compounds and explain in detail what these things are made out of so that you have the best chances out there thrifting. Stay tuned. Obviously, that is not really what's going to happen. We are going to hit the highlights like we normally do with this many sales. It's really just not feasible and it's not helpful to you either for us to sit and just drone on and on. So we're going to start with 10 shoes and 10 clothing each. We're just going to go through them real quick so you can get an idea of what is selling now. Rapid fire 10 clothing items that sold for us this weekend across three platforms. First up, a pair of ladies rock revival jeans, plenty of bling on them. They sold for $40 on Facebook. They paid for shipping. We got these thrifting. A pair of Nikes. These are just, uh, you know, lounge sweats. Super clean condition. We got these thrifting. They sold for $38 plus shipping on Facebook. Brand new with tags. Polo sold for $35 bucks plus they pay ship. Poshmark. Pair of BKE patents, uh, ladies, 30 bucks plus shipping, Poshmark. Men's Patagonia pants, these are just like a casual, light khaki. Patagonia, pretty in, uh, easy one to f uh, figure out, it says Patagonia right on it. 30 bucks, Poshmark. A brand that we wouldn't pick up unless we found it brand new with tags, these are Pack Sun, 31 bucks, uh, brand new with tags, found them at the thrift, uh, they pay ship, Poshmark. Over on the eBay, this Chicago Bulls uh, jacket sold for 45 shipped. It'll ship first class. If it had a little bit more detail or like a logo in the back or if it was thicker like a puffer, it would have sold for probably $20, $30 more. This one we got from the store buyout and it sold probably within 10 days of listing. What's this? Is this cable net? Yep. Cable net polo women's small sold for 35 shipped. Uh, not all polos sell the same, but this style tends to do pretty well. It's a nice classic style, as Melinda would say. Timeless. Torrid, of course, a really good one. 38 bucks. It just says Torrid right on the label. Uh, plus size, we got this thrifting. I thought this was a skirt when, uh, when, it, when Melinda found it and when it was listed. But this is not a skirt. This is a scarf because fashion. This is a fashion scarf. Lululemon, 35 bucks shipped. One is going to pop up, she's going to do rapid fire shoes. 10 pairs sold. I'm popping in to show you the shoes that are selling for us right now. We found the exact pair of Toms in different sizes and they both sold this weekend, both on Posh. We're going to have to be very careful when labeling. Size 8, size 12. One sold for 25, they pay ship. One sold for the 30, they paid ship. These are clogs. Cute little embroidered boot, sold for $32, they pay ship, Poshmark. These are Reebok, they're CrossFit shoes. They sold on an offer, they sold for $40 still on Poshmark with $7 that they pay in shipping. These are Nike Kyrie shoes. They took a little bit longer to sell, but they did finally sell on Facebook for $39, plus they're going to pay shipping. We got these Adidas from a store buyout. They sold for $35 shipped on eBay, which means we'll pay shipping. These also took a little bit longer to sell. They finally did on Poshmark for $40, plus they'll pay shipping. These are Blowfish. Be very mindful of the style you pick up in this brand. This is a pair of Ugg sweater boots. They sold on Mercari. I took an offer of $48. We'll pay shipping. They'll be pretty light because they fold up. This is our last pair of Timberlands in this style from a liquidation buyout. They sold for $63 on eBay. We'll pay shipping. Last are these Dan Post cowboy boots. They sold very quickly on Facebook Marketplace for $60. Plus, they will pay shipping. We picked them up for around $7 at the thrift. We're going to pack up all our clothing, all our shoes. We will be back to show you some hard goods that sold this weekend. It's still clean. Uh, we're separating our packages by platform right now. So then when I, I get to the labels part, I can just pull from the same platform as opposed to switching around between Mercari, between Facebook and Posh, emails, all that good stuff. And we'll just knock it out really fast. Yeah, so we got every everything that's shoes and clothes that's all been uh, packaged. Let me just show you guys a couple of the highlights for the hard goods. 
This one right here is a pretty good one. This is a Panasonic, uh, just a VCR. These ones tend to do really well, these Omnivisions. Picked it up for five bucks at Goodwill and this bundle sold for 95 shipped. Had this remote laying around and it works perfectly fine on this unit. We always throw in a cable or AV cables and then we have a bunch of these blanks so we just threw one in to the bundle to make it a little bit more appealing. This stack of speakers came from that big bundle of Pioneer stuff that I processed a couple of videos ago or a video ago. This set sold for 40 shipped, I believe. A couple of small items that sold that are kind of unique. This first one is a viewer sale, a Krups replacement piece. Jeffrey bought that from us, so Jeffrey, if you're watching, thank you very much. He said that he just found a unit that needed this piece as it was missing from the unit he bought. So. Hopefully it fits perfectly for you. Thank you so much for your business. This eight inch Hulk sold for 27 bucks with free shipping. It was shipped first class. He was damaged, uh, definitely a vintage piece. Got this from the store buyout. Nice to see it go so fast. Obviously you could have gotten more for it if it was perfectly working. Somebody will, you know, possibly repair it or keep it, who knows. We'll say a little 10 bucker for this Yahtzee. These handhelds are usually worth about that five, six, you know, dollar mark. Some are worth a lot more. This came from the store buyout as well. And of all these small things, this is my favorite. This is just a espresso, you know, handle for a coffee machine. I bought the coffee machine for $7 at Goodwill and just the replacement handle with three different size, um, you know, espresso coffee cup dingalings. I don't know what the proper name is for it. This sold within two days of listing for $40 and it'll ship uh, for about eight bucks. Last two left. These four lunch trays, the brand on these is Bolta Built, if you can see that. USA made, of course. Found all of these, uh, if you've been watching us for a while, you've seen these before, but found these at a church sale. This stack of four, somebody bought for $60, shipped. We're just gonna bubble wrap, squeeze in between some cardboard, and then this pile right here of Bolta, which I assume is the same thing as Bolta Built, so for $38, we're almost out of all of our lunch trays. What a great investment. Eight bucks for like 40 or 50 of these and almost all of them have sold so far. Comes Here comes Toddy. Don't worry, Toddy's gonna make an appearance. Hi, Toddy. <laughs> Hi, baby. Hi, you wanna go outside and sit with grandma? You can go outside in the sun, do some sunbathing, get that little tan going, get the brindle out of you, huh? What do you think? You wanna just make some noise in here? A little better? Okay, good girl. So it's uh, that part of the video, it's the end of the video. When that's finishing up labeling, the record that we set this weekend was the amount of orders we shipped out, or we are shipping out 50 total packages, which is a new record for us uh, over the weekend. Hopefully you enjoyed coming along with us. We're going to continually improve on that segment where we'll probably wear GoPros next time so you can get a little bit more what we're seeing at the time we're seeing it. Thank you for tuning in though. Thank you for hanging out with us. As always, take care. We'll see you on the next one.